Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make applesauce. Let's watch. So my sister is here, um, and Charlie's nice enough to run the camera. And I just want to show you a simple way to make applesauce. And Tracy asked if I needed a recipe, and I don't really think you need a recipe for applesauce. You're literally just cooking apples down. And you can do it a couple ways. You can run the apples through your um, apple slicer core gizmo. You remember this from our uh, uh, apple crisp show? Ooh, that kind of makes a creaky noise. Um, you can run it through this, or you can just throw them whole into your bowl here, cook them down, and then run that through a food mill, which is what we're going to do today. Because these are all apples that have fallen off the trees and saw this mushy part here. You know, we want to cut out the mushy part. So you just take a knife, cut out the, the mushy part basically is where the apple fell off the tree. It just goes brown because it damages the apple. Then you can take this whole thing and throw it in there. What I like about cooking the apples whole and making sauces, you get, it's a lot more efficient because if you core the apples and you peel them, you're taking away a lot of the, um, the fruit of the apple that could be made into applesauce. What you can also do is you can just take these and just, you can quarter them and you can cut them like that, if I could do that, um, like a professional. But you just core these and throw them in, seeds and all, in here like this. Just like that. So here we have a bunch of cored apples. Put those on our high-tech camp stove here. You could put a little water in. I don't really, I don't think you really need any. Throw out that stem. And just let this start to cook. But you just, you just cut out the bad parts. Maybe if you don't have any apple trees, maybe one of your neighbors does, or maybe some guy down the road. Just call him up and ask him. You know, the worst, the worst they can say is no. So my sister, who does not want to be in the video, keeps on having these little comments over here. Um, and she said, aren't you going to put any spices in? And I'm like, well, yeah, we're going to put some spices in. And she's like, well, you should put it in the beginning because that allows the flavors to melt. So we're going to do that. Um, and I only have cinnamon. You could put allspice and other things. And she also said you put salt in because that draws out the liquid faster. So we're going to do that too. So I'm going to keep Tracy happy. Is that too much? No, that's good. Okay. The stems will add a lot of flavor too, I think. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now the question is, is what instrument do I use, implement do I use to stir this? Will this work? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the spoon shot. Nice. And look at that. I mean, it's been like less than 10 minutes. And look at all the liquid that's coming out of those apples. And Charlie said, whoa, you didn't even have to add any water to that. And that's true. It just, this stuff cooks right out. You can also smash this stuff down with your wooden spatula. We're on, here we are, are, these are all cooked down. I also like the red color that the skins give it. And this didn't take long at all. At the end, you want to turn the heat down or else you're going to burn, you're going to burn the bottom of the thing. So now we are going to use a food mill. This is a food mill. It's a neat gizmo. It has, it's kind of like a, it has this kind of pusher disc and then these little holes. So it's going to separate out the skins and the seeds and the stems. That's going to let the sauce come through here. We're going to scoop some of this and this smells great, by the way. This goes in here. And we turn this and it goes right through and this Ooh. comes out <laughs> like that. That looks great. When you're done with that batch, you back it up like this and you scoop up all those skins and you get rid of the skins.
but this is working very well. So again, you can see where the um, the skins are starting to clog up the hole. So you you press down on this and you back it up, and it lifts the skins off, and then you go through again. That's your applesauce. So twelve apples. Have made how much? Oh, that four looks cups. like a that's a quart, like four cups. So you went. From this, you went from these kind of beat up apples that were on the ground into some really nice applesauce. Um, you can put a little more sugar on this if, you know, different parts of the country like things sweet or less sweet. I like things kind of less sweet, but this tastes great. So we're gonna have a little taste test here. That's great, it's delicious. I like this, it needs a little sugar. because the apples are a little tart, but you can can this, you can just eat it like it is. You can also just freeze this, put it in storage containers and you can freeze it and then you just thaw it out and you feed it to your kids. It's great. All right, there you go. Thank you for watching. Tell your friends about the show and thanks for watching. All right, we'll see you later.